the government is not what most people think it is. You see, most people think that the government is this system in which the people in power actually care about the citizens, you know. Most people think that the people in power, their number one objective is to benefit the interests of the citizens. But that's not the case at all. You see, the people who are in power, they got in power not by, you know, carrying out what is progressive to society and all of its members. No, the way they got there is by lying, deceiving, exploiting, and manipulating and butt fucking everyone else. That is how they got there. So you see, most people think that the government is a democracy in which all of the citizens can collectively vote on which laws and which policies can be carried out, but that's not the case at all. You see, the people who are in power, they are in power and they want to perpetuate their power. They want to maintain their power by any means. I mean, do you really think that these people that are in power would let some jackass, just a bunch of jackasses who don't know jack shit, vote and decide what they're going to do with their society and with their world? You'd have to be an idiot to think that for even one second. We have to be an idiot to even believe that for even one second. You know, these people don't give a fuck about your best interest. They're here to enslave your ass. You know. See, the government, the government is not, it's not a democracy. It's an oligarchy. It's a corporate oligarchy in which it's not about, you know, the bullshit that they've been telling you, being a productive member and hard work equals success bullshit. If you're a corporation, you and the government are in cahoots and you can pretty much do anything you want, but fuck the rest of society, right? You see, when people, people have the, this false notion, this, you know, that they can just vote in the bullshit corrupted system. They can play in the bullshit corrupted system by its rules, which are designed to keep them down. And they think they can win that way. You know, that, that's, what I, that's what I hear people strategizing and, and plotting and scheming to, to play by this corrupted system, this broken by design system, play by its rules to become up in it, which is not gonna happen because that's the way they fucking designed it. You see, when you vote for these new policies to, to be put in, into action, you're not, you know, fighting for freedom. What you're basically doing is you're begging your masters for longer chains. That's what you're doing. You're just admitting that, yes, I am a slave, but master, can you please just make my chain a little longer, master? Can you please make my chain a little longer, master? Because I, I just want to pick some more cotton, man. I just want to pick some more cotton, master. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see, these people think that, that these people hate you because of, I don't know, some bullshit, you know, sensationalized, um, just fucking stigmatized propaganda reason. But no, that's just the propaganda what they want you to believe, right? These people hate you because they look at you as a peasant. You're not on their level. They tell you what to do. They rule you. They don't give a fuck what you're saying. Just imagine a king and a peasant 
begging him. A peasant is on his knees begging him. How the fuck do you think that king is going to look at that peasant? That quote-unquote peasant. You know, he's going to look at them as just beneath him. Not even worth his goddamn time. You know? Not even worthy to lick the ground that he... That his men carry him on. The, not even worthy of licking the ground that the men that carry the king walks on. That's how worthless they look at you. A piece of shit. A goddamn slave. Right? And so, basically, people have this, this false notion, this bullshit notion, this preconceived notion that they want you to think, by the way. So you, you're, you're complacent and... and you're basically on a, on a fucking hamster wheel. You think you're doing, you're putting in all this work, but you're going nowhere. And that's how they want it, to perpetuate their power. They tell you that, that there's a linear path to success, quote unquote. When, you know, success is just in the eyes of, of the beholder. It's just subjective. But, you know, they've put it to where they've got it, they've, you know, brainwashed you and socially engineered you to think that there's a linear path to success. Right? That couldn't be further from the truth. Because all the bullshit they te that they teach you in school is bullshit. The real world doesn't work anything like that. They tell you to obey orders, follow orders, obey, blindly obey an arbitrary uh, authority. That's not how the real world works. In the real world, you have to take what the fuck you want. Because that's how the fuck they got in power. Brute fucking force. They got guns and bombs. And they went on land that, that wasn't inhabited by them. Inhabited by other people. And they took that shit over. They massacred. They pillaged. They raped. They killed these people. Genocided people. And then they conquered the land. And they said, this is our shit. You know why it's our shit? Because I want it and I have the fucking balls to take it. And that's how the real world works. But you see, they brainwashed you. They brainwashed you. They don't want you to know what actually happened. They don't want you to know that, you know, the, the, the nuances of what actually happened. They just say, oh, whatever happened, that was a long time ago. That's not how the world works anymore. No, that's bullshit. That is how the world works. But the reason why they don't want you to know how the world really works is because if you knew, you would get together collectively and revolt against their bullshit status quo. Because, it, you know, you see, basically what I'm saying is they took over... They took over society, they, they took over the world by brute force, but they're going to make rules that say it's against the law to use brute force. You see what I'm saying here? To where you're, fig you're running around like a chicken with its head cut off, trying to figure out how the fuck you're going to make it in this world, having exigent, existential crises, you know, you just fucking, you just confused, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You're just winging this shit like everybody. Everybody pretends that they know what the fuck they're doing, but they're, they don't. They're just winging it, even though they, they bullshit. No matter how much they bullshit, they're just winging it. And they have you wondering, what the fuck am I going to do? How, how am I going to make it in this world? When really, the answer's right under your nose. But they don't want you to know what the answer is. Because you, they fear if you knew... The answer, and if, if enough people knew the answer, and enough people had the balls to revolt them, they would. As a collective unit, as a cohesive unit. You see? They would, they would rebel against their bullshit. But you see? See, basically... There's this social contract theory. The social contract is that the citizens give up individual liberties with the thought that 
by them giving up their individual liberty, some of their individual liberties, that the entire society will benefit as a whole. But that's not the case. They just take your liberties and they try to sell them back to you. They take your liberties, they, they take your liberties by force and they say, fuck you, bitch. They fuck you in the ass with a red, white, and blue dick. With a two foot fucking dildo and they just shove it up your ass. And if you even complain, they're gonna kick you in the back of the head and cough up a fucking mucus filled water spit and just spit it on your fucking head. They don't give a fuck about you, man. They, they just lie to us. You know? It's just bullshit because, you know, the real world doesn't, li doesn't work the way they're telling you that it does. It's about brute force manipulation, exploitation, taking whatever the fuck you want. You see, they're making it out to where Oh man, if you're poor, then just go get it like I did, like every like the rich people did. Basically saying, oh, it's killer be killed if you ain't working, you ain't eating, or you ain't doing this, you ain't doing that. But then they make it illegal to kill. They make it illegal to do the shit that they did to get to where they're they are. You know, you see what I'm saying? It's a fucking. It's like. It's like a catch-22. You, you have to be empowered to be in power. Because once if, if you're born and you're not in power, they make it impossible for you to get in power. And, you know, they'll, they'll do this, use this tokenism, you know, use a guy, just take a person and just put them in this perceived, you know, uh, position of power. Just to get the people that look up to this person, the people from the same social economic background as this person, to be like, oh, yeah, we made it, we made it, we made it, we made it. Then they just give up. They just stop because they think they've, they've made it. They think they've made it to a point to where their people will have some type of wealth, some type of, you know, uh, lasting wealth and lasting power, you know, a foundation to where they can build on for generations to come. But it's not the case at all. It's bullshit. They're just puppets. They're just using you. They're using these people as puppets. And the sooner you realize the, the tactics and the propaganda and so forth that these people use is the sooner that you can realize everything that you've been taught is a fucking lie. You got to unlearn a bunch of shit. You got to teach yourself shit. You got to be autodidactic to where you... Know how to critically think for yourself and not just blindly follow the bullshit that society has brainwashed you with. You gotta, you gotta be willing to not give a fuck. You have to, you have to not give a fuck because not giving a fuck will help you a lot in life. Not giving a fuck. You have to not give a fuck about society's image of success, society. You know, how society's expectations, you have to say fuck that shit. You have to say fuck that shit. And you have to go your own fucking path. You have to go your own fucking path. You know, people in power, the people that, that overthrew, the people that conquered, they didn't give a fuck what people thought about them. You know, they didn't give a fuck. You know, I mean, that's the only way that, that you're going to not be a slave. You know why? Because people have as much freedom as they have the intelligence to want and the courage to take. Basically saying, if you don't know what true freedom is, you're not going to you're not going to want for it because you don't know what the fuck it is. But as soon as you have the intelligence the critical thinking still skills to think for yourself and realize this is bullshit. I'm in a goddamn cage. I'm I am on a fucking chain. I am a slave. Do you realize I want better for myself? You're unfit to be a slave. 
because now you know that there's better and what you've been given is bullshit utter bullshit and that now since you have the intelligence your intelligence won't let you your intelligence won't let you just be a fucking slave with all the knowledge that you have now that has given you this knowledge has given you the courage to take what you see is yours and you don't give a fuck what anybody says or how anybody feels about that because you will not be a slave and you're willing to die about it you're willing to die for it and that's true freedom when you're willing to die about something there's there's nothing anybody can do about that you either shut up or you fucking kill me now what's this gonna be cause I'm good with either one now how about that Bitch.